EPA and WA meteorologist Bobby Martich here with your outlook for April 27th, 2022. It is Wednesday, and the Wednesday video forecast is sponsored by the Walters and Zarinsky team at Keller Williams Real Estate, serving Carbon, Lehigh, and Northampton counties in eastern Pennsylvania. If you're wondering about the value of your current home, call Sarah and Mike at any time to get your free real estate market analysis. They use genuine MLS data combined with 20 years of full-time experience to give you an up-to-date and detailed forecast of current real estate values. Reach out to the Walters Zarinsky team at Keller Williams Real Estate and see for yourself what Sarah and Mike can do for you and find out what sets them apart in the real estate industry. They can be reached at 610-867-8888. Proud sponsors of the Wednesday video forecast. So we have a trough moving in today and it's going to be markedly colder, uh, much colder than what we saw yesterday and a couple days before that. Uh, we will have variably cloudy skies today, which is to say partly to mostly cloudy. Okay, so we might start off partly cloudy and then become mostly cloudy this afternoon. There is the opportunity for the far northern tier of Pennsylvania to see a passing rain or snow shower or maybe even some grapple. Okay, that is not out of the question. Uh, as this uh, trough starts settling into the region, this is a pretty deep trough. Uh, and uh, not unprecedented for this time of year, but it's pretty cold relative to what it should be uh, for this time of year and compared to average and what is what is considered average. So 47 to 54 is a temperature spread today from northwest to southeast. And again, up in the far northern areas, you could have a passing snow shower as they get to the NAM high res future simulated radar. This is a precipitation type radar. So the blue is indicating snow showers. And this is early this morning. Or the opportunity for a few snow showers across the far northern counties of Pennsylvania, but these should uh, pretty much fall apart as they move further south and east. I can't roll out a stray shower, rain shower that is, or grapple further south uh, if this de decides to hold together a little bit longer. But uh, right now it looks like the southern areas will be missing out on any kind of precipitation today. All right, so that is possible today. Uh, not a big deal, just an ambiance thing kind of thing to remind you that it's uh, it's going to feel like winter and certainly with the winds today uh, are going to be the bigger issue so it's going to be 47 to 54 degrees we have a wind chill factor that's going to be uh, easily in the 40s if not 30s in some places and uh, winds are generally going to be uh, in the 15 to 25 mile per hour range in terms of gusts today and then even windier as we get in the late overnight tonight and into at least part of thursday time frame as this trough really uh, settles in. Now, the other big part of this is going to be the temperatures. Now, uh, this is a minimum temperature map, taking everything from the coldest point of the night between 2 a.m. and 8 a.m. on on Thursday. I'm going to draw a line for you here. I know they have some freeze warnings up and some frost uh, advisories and, and things like that going out from the National Weather Service. If you are northwest of this line right here, you are in a freeze risk, okay? So that's a big portion of our region. And why is this important? Well, this time of year, everything's growing, right? So you have sensitive plants, sensitive vegetation that some of you may have uh, gone out and and planted already uh, in anticipation of the warmer weather. Well, uh, this is a uh, pretty deep trough, okay? And it's going to be like this not only today, but again on Thursday night. And Thursday night, we're expecting clear skies. So areas that don't get below freezing on Thursday night, we'll see some frost because we have the clear skies and the calmer winds. I don't think you're dealing with that overnight in terms of frost because you're going to have too much wind, okay? Wind uh, is not friendly to frost formation, okay? But you will have these cold temperatures, and everything northwest of that line I drew is below freezing, at or below freezing overnight. So there's a freeze risk for those areas. And even down southeast of the, uh, down here in southeast of these regions, you're looking at 35, 36 degrees. So it's not like it's going to be a walk in the park down there either, just not below freezing. So any sensitive plants, vegetation, make sure you do whatever you have to do to protect those, uh, both of not only tonight, but also Thursday night. So the core of the trough is basically the next two days, and we are going to mostly sunny skies here on Thursday with a core of the trough settling over the region. And again, remaining breezy, 15 to 25 miles per hour, some gusts 30 to 35 miles per hour on Thursday. And especially late, this will start late uh, Wednesday night and go into Thursday where you have that uh, windiest period. And then we're going to gradually just drop off the winds a little bit here for Friday. Still remaining mostly sunny though, and we're going to start coming out of it. So whatever your high temperature is on Thursday, if you go for the next four days after that just add four degrees to the temperature and we will be climbing out of that gradually each day by four degrees so if it's 54 on thursday where you're at 
It's 58 Friday and 62 Saturday, 66 Sunday. Okay, so we're going to have a nice weekend coming up. Very nice weekend uh, with temperatures in the 60s. And uh, again, Sunday is going to be even warmer than, than Saturday will be, although Saturday won't be too bad. 62 degrees and mostly sunny skies here on Saturday. Sunday again. Uh, we're looking at partly cloudy skies. We have a system off to our west here that's going to be coming at us. That comes through overnight, Wednesday night. So your entire day on Sunday is dry. So we're just looking at partly cloudy skies, maybe some uh, some more clouds filtering in later in the day. But uh, again, temperatures getting up into the mid to upper 60s for Sunday. And then uh, this little bit of shower activity will move through late in the overnight and maybe into very early Monday morning with an isolated shower here, but still remaining mild. Uh, very similar to what we see on Sunday uh, as far as high temperatures. And then the next system, this one's a little bit more, uh, has a little bit more uh, quantitative precipitation with it. So this looks like a more formidable system here on Tuesday with uh, showers and periods of rain moving through the region during the day, it looks like right now, maybe late Monday night and going through the day here on Tuesday. But temperatures are going to warm up uh, out ahead of this, which this does have a uh, southerly flow, southwesterly flow out ahead of it. So you will have uh, temperatures making a run at 70 degrees or some places even better than that are southeastern areas where you might have some sun early on before any of this comes in. So uh, this is looking like it's coming through most of the day here on Tuesday and it's our next bigger system that we'll be dealing with. But so in the meantime, we're going to be dry uh, for the next several days. Again, that stray shower or snow shower far northern areas this morning. Uh, and then that's it. And then the rest of the week, it's Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday are all dry. Early next week, we start getting back into the shower chances. I'm EPA WA Meteorologist Bobby Marchers. That is our outlook for April 27th, 2022. Have a great Wednesday.